50 brands to watch at IFE. We're going to have a full list, but to kick off the eight, Cassie and I are going to read all 50 brands very fast. Ready? Let's go. I'm yeah. going to do the first 25. Okay. These are brands at IFE, New York Expo, uh, next weekend. Here we go. Amazing Lash, Back to Rock, Balloon Kings, Beef Jerky Outlet, Big Frog Custom Shirts, Bow Concept, Bojangles, Burger and Beer Joint, Chop Chop, Climb Zone, Creamistry, Cycle Bar, Checkers, Coyote Ugly, Denny's, Donner and Giro's, uh, Dream Vacations, Drink Coffee and Tea, Dwyer Group, Farm Stores, Fast Signs, Fruit Bowls, Funtopia, Glory Jeans, GNC. Grease Monkey, Great Clips, I Love Kickboxing, Canine Resort, Slay Macaroon, Lightbridge Academy, Soul Bowl, Melt Shop, Muya, Nectar Juice Bar, Orange Cryo, Pillar to Post, Philly Pretzel Factory, Poke Works, River Street Suites, Rita's Italian Ice, Shawnee's, Smoothie King, Silver Pet Prince, Sky Zone, Super Green Solutions, Sylvan Learning, The Brass Tap, E Break, I Fix, and Zaxby's. There we did it. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> this is the <eight. laughs> All right, all kidding aside, that was fun. There's a lot of great brands to watch at IFE. The ones that we actually read off, uh, not only are we going to tag you in social so you can get a little bit of a shout out on the eight, mm -hmm. um, but um, there's going to be a write up about these brands on the site um, for you to review. So if you're going to the conference, here's some brands. If you're not going to the conference, still the, the scope of brands um, should give you an idea of, of what to look for if you're looking for the right opportunity. Um, and now that we're in our, in our opportunities guide month, um, we're giving a lot of content on how you, uh, the franchise prospects, should find the right um, brand for you. So uh, in, the, in the fashion of keeping speed, Cassie's going to take the lead here. I'll chime in when it makes sense. But go ahead, Cassie. Take us away. Take All us away right. on the IFE Special 8. IFE edition of the eight. So for this week's Fantastic, last week we had introduced to you the concept of Scott Oaks as Fran Elmo. Fran Elmo. So this week's Fantastic, um, we're giving Scott some advice of what not to do when he's dressed up as Elmo at IFE. Take a look. Started pushing Elmo around. Do I look like I'm playing with you? Come over here and start cursing at around some kids, man. Ruckus he caused prompted police to put on the cuffs. Read the International Jew by Henry Ford. As police led him away, the crowd cheered. Well, um, <laughs> more on that later. <laughs> Yeah, we'll, we'll report back. All right, Fran Leverty. We are featuring Robert Crisanti, president and CEO of the IFA. Um, after I joined the organization in 2014, a lot of great experience advocating on behalf of franchising. So it's just someone that you want to be on the lookout for if you're attending IFE. I assume you're going to be there, Robert. Hope to see you uh, in New York. All right, on to fresh money. So if you're looking to understand the financial aspect of the franchising business model, IFE has some educational sessions lined up to kind of break down what exactly goes into investing in a franchise. And there's also more information, as Nick mentioned, in our current series of A Guide to Buy a Franchise in 1851. So the workshops are good for prospective franchisees and, and really newbie franchisors or soon to be franchisors because um, it, it's overview content, but at least you'll be able to connect with some folks that might be able to guide you down the right pathway of what brand makes most sense for you. Don't just get lost in the sexiness of, of the colors of a booth. Make sure that the opportunity aligns with you and, and your personality and your financial uh, wherewithal. All right, jumping into the front, we kind of hopped around there, but Nick's list of the 50 brands to watch out for at IFE. You definitely want to check these out on social. And do you want to do that, that again? Yeah, totally, because I don't think everyone caught those the first time. Uh, our, our video dude, Michael, behind the screen. Uh, Michael, make sure that you stream all of these mm -hmm. really fast across the... Uh, just kidding. <laughs> Rapid no, fire. No, all right. no more franching. We're franching forward. Franching um, forward. So if you are franching forward in your career, as I mentioned, a lot of educational opportunities, whether you're looking to get involved in a franchise, if you're looking to franchise your existing business, or if you're looking to grow the franchise concept that you already have, IFE is the place to be if you want to franch forward, really, in any respect to your career. Cool. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Fran Funny. Um, Wait, didn't we just do that? Totally. No. We're gonna we're gonna do another one though. All right. Why did the social media marketer get kicked out of the franchise unwind bowling party? Why? Because he kept trying to sponsor all the pins. Ah! <laughs> get that Steve Beagleman. That was a Steve Beagleman joke. <laughs> 
All right, Franz version misquote. Um, this one comes from Napoleon Hill. Your big opportunity may be right where you are now, but it's more likely waiting for you at the Javits Center in New York. Hey, look at that, another shout out for the New York Expo. And look, the reason we're making such a big deal out of it, um, this is probably the, the most signature event for franchise opportunities that exist in the United States. Um, there are smaller shows, but this is the one where everybody goes to um, to get a good glimpse into what brands are out there, what brands are up and coming. Uh, you can hear it in some of uh, the categories that we listed out, including cryotherapy, um, getting hot, ice cream, making a comeback, um, and then the, the standards, healthy, uh, education, uh, service, home-based. Um, so anyway, we're, we're making a big deal out of the show because there's, there's a lot of opportunities there. And if you can't make it out to New York, New York City next weekend, Still, their website's a, another good resource because of all the brands that are listed on there. That Again, it gives you a good idea of what's out there in franchising. Absolutely. All right, well, that leads us to our friend, which is the International Franchise Association. I know that we've shouted out to them before on the 8, but it's been a while, so it's always good to remind people that it's really a great resource for people to have if, if you're looking to get involved in the industry. And even their website, if you're not going to be at IFE, like you said, it's a wealth of information. Yeah, and if you want to find some great uh, human interest stories, look at their mm -hmm. at our franchise section. Um, there's a lot of profiles on franchisees who have taken uh, the risk and jumped into franchising uh, that maybe they'll their stories can inspire you to, to do the same. So hopefully for any of those fans out there, uh, we will be signing 8x10 uh, black <laughs> and whites at our booth. Um, no, seriously, we're doing interviews with anybody mm -hmm. uh, that is a fan of our publication, um, franchisors that have great stories, franchisees that want to get advice on what brand makes sense. Uh, we'll be filming live in our booth at IFE, so come find us. Mm -hmm. uh, we'd love to shake your hand and say hello. So safe travels. Uh, more from New York next week. Take care.